Ever heard the old phrase, strike when the iron is hot? Well, it's never been hotter than now. All this month at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung GS6 or the GS6 Edge for just one penny when you send them for service. The Galaxy S6, normally $49.99, now just a penny. The Galaxy S6 Edge, normally $99.99, now just a penny. Strike now while supplies last. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. 50-year-old Monroe Jackson was set to go to trial today before Pike Circuit Judge Eddie Coleman on a felony count of theft by deception, but that will have to wait. He's accused of collecting hundreds of dollars in donations for veterans by claiming to represent the Veterans Transitional Housing Center at Robinson Creek, but then not giving the money to the center. He was initially charged with misrepresenting military service for wearing decorations indicating he was a colonel in the armed forces, but he was eventually indicted by a Pike County Grand Jury on the theft by deception charge. Now, some 10 months after he was initially charged, Jackson's ability to stand trial has been brought into question by his own lawyer, Pikeville attorney Bill Sloan. Neither Sloan nor the Pike Commonwealth's attorney's office wanted to go on camera to talk about the case, but both sides indicated they were working well together to come to a resolution. But just last week, according to court documents, Sloan filed a motion asking for Jackson to be evaluated to see if he is competent to stand trial. As a result, Jackson's trial has been continued for an unspecified amount of time. Now, Jackson's been named as a person of interest in a case in Letcher County that's similar to the one against him in Pike County. He's accused of going into several businesses in the Isom area to collect donations for veterans. He hasn't been charged in Letcher County yet with any crimes. Police in Letcher County said Jackson has not been reported collecting donations there since EKB News reported he was believed to be in the county doing so. In his criminal case in Pike County, Jackson is facing up to five years in prison if convicted on the felony theft by deception charge. Now, Attorney Bill Sloan said his motion is likely being taken under advisement right now by Pike Circuit Judge Eddie Coleman, and he anticipates it will take about 30 days to clear up the matter. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.